I did not know which route I wanted to take as a painter still. Two years after graduating and I'm still lost and confused. Okay guys, it's getting real. It's getting really real because now we have more three elements happening. We have this floral arrangement being installed and it's almost like a chandelier above the crib area. So it's gonna give that 3D pop to the tree and just the whole vibe of the space is starting to really come alive. It's just, it's a project, but I'm loving it and it is coming alive and I'm so excited for this baby. She's gonna have the wildest dreams, the wildest dreams ever. Okay, so. Quick tooth. She gave me the idea, sent me the link. I have these breath forms. I chose the heart shape. I thought that would be cute, but they have squares, crosses, things like that. I have these hooks that screw into the wall, so very easy. You know, I needed something that was easy for me to do. I like to work smart, not hard. <laughs> so you can find these uh, cut hooks, they're called. These are really, really tiny hooks and they have different sizes so you literally just screw it into the wall and you have a hook very undetectable i'm glad i chose that these are brass plated so i chose that color specifically because if it was silver i don't know i thought brass would look better with the warm green i care about stuff like that i have five of these the first two have all 12 stems and the second two behind the front ones have nine which leaves me with six not i'm not the best at math but i can measure and do simple basic math yes i have six left i do also have twine i didn't want to just put the flowers that would that for me wasn't going to be organic enough you know i really wanted to feel real and when you look up, I want you to not notice that it's on a form. I'm just showing you my method of this madness. So if you've never done anything like this and you want to, be patient, take your time because I have scratched up my hands by being impatient. But this is not my first time doing this, so I expected that. These are wire which is a good thing. The bulging part of this heart, I knew was gonna be on the bottom because you want the flat part to be flush to the wall in this case. So I was just sticking in my stems, making sure that it goes through the center. And then at this point, you can lock it in. Or what I was doing was actually maneuvering the flowers into different spaces, however I felt like it should go. So boom, that goes on that side. This one can go over here somewhere. I'll put it in the second hole instead. That's what she said. To anchor it, you might want to just see which one is sticking up the most. And how do I explain this? I'm just going to Okay, it's not as easy when I'm trying to show you, but you, I'm just gonna wrap it around the stem of the three. So now we have three hanging flowers that are just kind of doing their thing. I'm also making sure that the leaves are going under because again, this part has to be flesh. That's really cute, right? Once I get to a nice, even spaced out feel with the flowers I take the twine and I do the same thing you just kind of freehand however the twine should be I just made sure I, I wrapped around most of the frame and even in some of them I went across like this so that when you're looking at it from above it's just the process that has been working for me very therapeutic you know this right here needs to come down and this is this is really loose so I'm just going to join the two I 
Leave a bright ideas. Beautiful. to go correct. You want to reset or you want to call it and we and we uh, figure out what we need to do, just let me know. It's on you. No, no. I know the weather's bad out there in St. Louis. We can't do anything about Mother Nature. We I hate that this is going on right now. Dang. And we have to reschedule. I don't like that. I was starting to get that feeling. If you've ever been to camp or you've met a new friend somewhere and you feel that you're never going to go back or never going to see them again, or you had the time of your life and you don't want to go. This was that time that I was catching those feelings. I was learning that this was the perfect job for me. This was the perfect entrepreneurship. It's nighttime, y'all. Good morning. For what today has to bring. This was my third mural, but I had never painted on walls as a child. I didn't even do that in college. So I didn't see myself as a muralist. Not before this, not even during this. Once I got into phase six, I was, I felt reborn. <laughs> this is the point where I'm really sharing it with the world because I'm finished now. People have to see this. So here we are. We have some greener plants what do we do what do we do i did a little bit down here but there's more to be done in this entire area today i'm adding some green vines because i will be having more green vines up here so we gotta match the energy the koala is coming to life in a few ways what else is happening we have glow in the dark stickers. Yeah, I have to continue doing that over here. So right now there's actually going to be a decal, it's like a decal sign. So this part of the sky is actually pretty decent, but I can always take the sign off to, you know, continue working on the sky, but I will be working on the tree and the vines and more stars. Today, someone is going to put that on the wall for me. Then I'll be able to work around it. So that's what I'm working on today. It's coming together. I won't be continuing this probably until the very end, but I can't wait to see it complete because that's just gonna set it off. So yeah, you can see it's kind of empty here, so this is where I'm filling it up. That kind of stuff matters to me. <laughs> I need all the detail. And this flower, I'll probably finish right now. I just want you guys to see a difference from what I'm doing. This side, I started first, but over here, you see there's a lot more little baby flowers i'm actually putting white on more of the flowers that are there and i have more to do up there but from afar it it just adds a better effect once i fill up the actual flowers it would just look prettier especially when the lights are off the glow in the dark stars that are in the center of the flowers look like a night sky which i love but you can see the difference here of what's happening. My purpose was always the how. How am I going about what I love to do, right? So what your passion is, your passion is the what. What is it that you're holding in that box, you know? I found how I wanted to use this gift. And I've always known that I love to tell stories or share my testimony. I neglected it for so long. My intuition always tells me, listen, you have to get up. You have to make yourself happy, smile. You have to do what you love to do and make sure people see it. Make sure that it's known that you're being yourself so that others know 
is possible. Okay, I'm really not sure if you guys can see me, but I'm sure you can see up there. I have a little light. I'm placing my phone there, watching videos as I sit in the dark to finish the glow in the dark on the wall. If I turn my phone light down, I can actually see what I'm doing. I could do this in the light, but then I really wouldn't know how it will look in the dark, you know? I would have to keep going to turn the light off, so this is easier because I want to space it out and make it really look like a night sky with stars. 